Hi guys! This past week, one of my favorite shows, Orange is the New Black, returned to Netflix. And please, do not tell me any spoilers in the comments because I have not seen it yet. I know. Bad fan. Bad fan. But anyway, I thought I would take this opportunity in celebration of the newest season of Orange is the New Black to take these complicated characters, to say the least, and sort them in Hogwarts houses. That's right, guys. This is sorted. Orange is the new black. Alright, if you don't know how sorted works, I just take 10 random characters from any given fandom, this being Orange is the New Black, and sort them into Hogwarts houses. Because I am a nerd, and gosh darn it, this is what nerds do, okay? First we have Galena Red Reznikov. Red is seriously one of my favorite characters, and she's a little bit complicated. This girl is basically the Molly Weasley of Litchfield. And the house is Molly Weasley in Gryffindor. Also red, and when I think of red, I think of Gryffindor. However, she's a little bit more devious than Molly Weasley. She will do whatever it takes to make sure herself and but mostly her children, so to speak, are protected. She can be a little manipulative and a little spiteful. So for all those reasons, I'm going to be putting Red into Slytherin. Next is Lorna Morello. Lorna is also one of my favorite characters. She is oddly adorable and a little terrifying at the same time. Despite her eccentricities, we could say, is genuinely a good person. I think she genuinely has the best interests of herself and a lot of her friends around her in mind, and I think she's basically there as a support and just wants everyone to be nice and happy. So I think I'm going to be putting Lorna into Hufflepuff. Next is Tasha Tasty Jefferson. Again? Tasty is another one of my favorite characters. I love her. Tasty is so awesome. She definitely bucks stereotypes, which I love. And she is so much smarter and so much more intelligent than anyone ever gives her credit for. And I think, especially in these past few seasons, she's really used that to her advantage. And she loves books, she loves being in the library, so I'm going to be putting Tasty into Ravenclaw. Next is Dianara Daya Diaz. Dianara is such an interesting character because of all the people in the show, she just seems like the person who should least be in prison. She is sweet, she is soft-spoken, she is kind, and she's just trying to live her life, okay? I know that in the past few seasons, and from what I've seen of this next upcoming season, she has gotten a bit of more of feistiness, a bit more of a backbone, and it could be because her mother is no longer in prison there with her. As of Diane now, I'm going to be putting her into Hufflepuff. Next is Alex Foss. Alex started off as one of the antagonists of the series, but kind of very slowly became a definite protagonist and when I thought she was gonna get killed I was upset and I'm glad that she did not get killed. Part of her is really manipulative and she does have this sense of self-preservation. However, she is very intelligent. She is smart as a whip and really uses that intelligence to stay out of trouble most of the time and to just live her life in this prison the best way she knows how. 
So I'm going to be putting Alex into Ravenclaw. Next is Pusey Washington. Huh. Do not over it, okay? Justice for Pete! Pusey was my favorite character. Um, and I'm still upset about her death. It was tragic, and I cried. Mm. Pusey was literally too good for this world. She was too precious. Part of me really wants to put her into Hufflepuff. She is so supportive, so loyal, and just is such a hardworking and caring individual. But another part of me wants to put her in Gryffindor because she is really brave and loyalty also goes into Gryffindor qualities too. So ultimately, I think we're going to be putting Pusey into Gryffindor. Next is Sam Healy. Healy is a very interesting character and I don't know what they're doing with him because one minute I hate him because he's racist, sexist, and homophobic and then another I love him because he obviously has this adorable crush on Red and it's just cute and I'm rooting for him but then I hate him. I don't know what to feel, okay? This show makes me feel confused. Lifted. He is a flawed character, you could say, but despite his flaws, I think he genuinely thinks he's doing good. I think he, I think he really does think he's a gentle, kind-hearted person when he might not be um but because he really thinks that i i think i'm gonna have to put healy into hufflepuff next is suzanne crazy eyes warren again one of my favorite characters i love her suzanne is another one that's just kind of too precious for this world she is a child essentially in an adult brain. She is obviously some uh, has some mental deficiencies and is therefore a little bit more innocent you could say. She is genuinely very sweet and I think intensely intensely loyal. Look at her relationship with V. Ugh! Because of those reasons, I'm going to be putting Suzanne into Hufflepuff. Next is Piper Chapman, everyone's favorite character. <laughs> I think the show even knows that Piper sucks because after the first season, she wasn't really even the main character anymore. <laughs> She's just part of the bigger ensemble. Piper thinks that she's a good person, but she is not. She is possibly one of the most manipulative characters in the show. If she, she does really does not care how her actions affect other people. And for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Piper into Slytherin. F you, Piper! <laughs> Finally, we have Tiffany Pensatucky Doggett. What a transformation this character has gone through. Oh my goodness. She started off as one of the primary antagonists in season one, and by season five, I was like, girl, I am rooting for you. They did a 180 on her, really, but in a very subtle way, so her transition didn't seem forced. And now I think she might be one of my favorite characters. What I like about her is that for good or bad, she really sticks to her convictions and really sticks to her morals. And she is really stubborn and I could call her brave knowing what happens to her over the course of the show. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Pensatucky into Gryffindor. Well there you guys have it. Those are just 10 of the many characters in Orange is the New Black. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and especially Twitter and I will see you guys next week with a brand new video.
Bye. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye. This is my friend Brittany, and she just opened a photography well, not studio. Myself. Well, yeah, not by herself. They did so, most of the work. They did most of the work. <laughs> but <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> but don't sell yourself short, Brit. Your name's on the...